Hello, traders. Sometimes there is an update that is so cool, you can't help but to report on it. So today, let's go over TRDR, a free site and a new update that they just released that is insanely helpful. Let's do it. All right, traders, we are going to get into the update for TRDR that I was told about through a Twitter message from their staff. Really, really cool site. I'm loving it and really cool staff as well. Now, before we talk about how to use this tool and how it picks tops and bottoms, as you can see, we're first gonna talk about my Delta Neutral course is gonna be released next week. I have been putting a lot into it and it's probably the best course that I have done so far, in my opinion. And it's gonna be a video course with live streams in the future, with also text, with discount codes, and just a whole bunch of fun. So if you're interested in that, uh, stay tuned because that will be next week from this video. What we're looking at here is the update of order book depth overlay aggregation. Now what that is and how do we get to that, if you go to indicators and type in order book depth overlay, you have two different kinds. You have aggregated and you have non-aggregated. Today we're using aggregated and today we're using the 0 to 2.5. 0 percent means bids and offers at market price. 2.5 means bids and offers 2.5% away from best bid, best offer market price. So this is really gonna show us the pressure um, near price. Now my specific settings are this. Those are all selected and that as well. And exchanges, I have picked every single exchange to be added into this order book uh, depth overlay. So it's aggregating really the bids and offers from all these different exchanges to give us a really accurate picture about how many people actually wanna buy and sell Bitcoin similar to the website vcdepth.io. Now, what we see here is a strong amount of bidding that led to, guess what? Price rise, two and a half percent. We see a strong amount of offering and what happens? Guess what? Price falls. But what you should probably be thinking is, hey, aren't there some times, Bennett, where we see a strong amount of bidding or even very aggressive bidding, but then price just doesn't go that way? Why does that happen? Even when we're looking at aggregated depth, shouldn't this work like 90% of the time? Well, it works pretty well, but the reason why sometimes it won't work, like things like this, always look at market orders. And to do that, you can get volume by side delta. And look here what was happening as those bids were placed. We actually see, guys, the buyers just weren't that strong, especially here. Just not much buying, not much green, but just a lot of selling, right? And if I look where somewhere, uh, where this, yeah, where this did work, is we can see a large amount of sell orders replaced here and then price went down. Well, what ended up happening is there was a strong amount of buying, but then after that, the buyers just gave up. Really, there wasn't much buying. And then here was a really good sign where we actually begin to see these bigger sells come in with pretty strong order depth, with pretty strong bearish order depth, and price does, in fact, go down. Here, what we can look at is we see a very strong sell-off. We see some buying. We see some buying here. And price does go up, but look what happens here. They pulled the bids. So across multiple exchanges, all of these bids were pulled and price just didn't really have much reason to, to rise. Demand wasn't high and price fell because these bids were pulled. We can see that in the result of some strong market sell orders there. If we go to here, we can see that there's strong selling, yes, but then the sellers just eventually give up around here and then the buyers begin to take over. What I'm trying to show you guys here is this tool does work quite well, where we can look at order book depth overlay to see, hey, when will price rise? Hey, when will price fall? But it is equally as important to look at volume by side delta, which is basically just looking at market orders. It is 100% important for you to not just do this. You, you can't just look at this alone. You need to incorporate market orders because you don't wanna be caught with something like this where price goes from 7,300 to the 6,800s and you're like, hey, there were bids here. Yeah, there were bids there, but look at these market sells. Do you think they're gonna stop? So that is one thing to look at. You can also look at this on many different time frames. They even offer one second time frames, and I'm gonna show you guys that because that is really cool. You can see live order book depth overlay for multiple aggregated exchanges. Um, in the one second time frame, it's just like, how do we have access to that information? That's insane. That's really cool, actually. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been hyping up, um, but we can see some strong cells that actually are touching price. That's a sign um, of bearishness and price does go down. 
And we can see here the bids begin to come in and price began to rise. But let's just go to the one second just so I can show you guys. Yep, look at this. So this is still the same order book depth overlay, but each candlestick is one second. And if you are a super scalper, this might be for you. You can see that basically here, it looked like the offers were really the ones dominating so far. This is only like, what, 30 minutes of data though? Yeah. And I think that this is free. I think that it is. And uh, it's pretty cool Even for something that's free. If we look at the five second, we can see that the offers, I think, still were quite dominant. So another benefit of this is you don't have to use Bitcoin. You know, let's say that we want to look at BNB. We can look at the aggregated exchanges of BNB. And I can see here all of the exchanges that have BNB. Or if they don't have BNB, of course, they just wouldn't be included here. And we can see how the bids and the offers work here. On BNB, this is the five second. I should not be looking at the five second. That's not going to help you guys. BNB on the five minute, you can see some patterns here. Very, very strong bidding that has just been continuously sold into. That's a sign of bearishness. And now we see some offers coming in and it looks like price is going up. So each, each coin has a different correlation to order depth. It's not like all coins just are going to be rising with strong bids, falling with strong offers. Some have a large degree of spoofing and I can kind of tell that there might be a certain amount of spoofing happening on BNB. Let's go look at BNB BTC and see if that pattern is still the same. Yeah, somewhat. You know, XLM, USDT, we can look at that, just a random coin that I had thought of. Not the cleanest, not super clean as like Bitcoin. NEO, yeah, this might be some, some spoofing as well. I want to go look at Ethereum on BitMEX. Let's go see. Ethereum on BitMEX, again, we're not looking at the order depth for Ethereum BitMEX. We're looking at the aggregated of all of these exchanges for Ethereum. Now, I'm not really seeing any strong bids or strong offers pop up. When that does happen, a thing that you can do to remedy that is to lower the ratio cap. If I lower this, you can see that now we do have it. Actually, it looks like this worked pretty well. Strong bidding come in, coming in here at the market bottom and price rises. Strong bidding here, price rises here. Strong bidding here, price clearly rises there, you know, strong bidding, price rise. This is probably one of the cleaner correlations that I've seen so far. Um, potentially even better than Bitcoin for Ethereum, potentially better than Bitcoin. Uh, let's look at the 15 minutes, looks at some more data, especially during this consolidation phase with this ratio cap. Yeah, and, and you can see it happen here. Um, Price rose and then it got met by a very strong amount of limit sellers across multiple exchanges and price couldn't rise anymore and it fell. So for this video, we have covered TRDR and all these really cool things you can do on the site. This new update's great. And it's not the only update. I think they also had, uh, if I type in aggregate, mm -hmm. they also had as an indicator by itself. So I can do order book depth, something like this where it's actually displaying as an indicator. And we can, you know, add in the exchanges that we want, take away the exchanges that we don't want. And we can, oh my God, look at all these really cool things. You can find the ratio, kind of like an MDR. We can, you know, let me just show the ratio because I think that's pretty cool. Delta fill, no. And you can see the ratio over time and so on. Really cool update. And if you are a fan of really any kind of time frame of trading, I think that this kind of, um, display can be really helpful for looking at bids and offers. It's loading right here. Let's see. I'm curious what it looked like on the four hour with aggregated. Pretty clean again. Price rise whenever it's touching. Yeah. So you guys can comment below what you find to have most helpful for aggregated order depth overlay. Um, try it on the one second time frame. Try it on the one hour and happy trading.